It was during an afternoon stroll that former nurse Eva Stiller began to suspect she may have Parkinson's disease. I did find my right side was a little bit weaker and I didn't swing my arm how normally people when they're walking swing both arms and I was only swinging on the left side. Because I'm a nurse, I knew a little bit about Parkinson before, like it was not easy, but I, I was suspecting, thinking, oh, and especially my father had Parkinson too. Thanks to her own awareness of the symptoms, Eva was diagnosed with Parkinson's uncommonly early allowing her to delay its progression by making key lifestyle changes. I did discover, you know, meditation, exercise, relaxation, yoga. It's really helping, especially with my mental health too. Like a lot of mm, people with Parkinson have anxiety. I have a little bit of anxiety, but depression, I never had this. Um, I'm happy and I'm um, enjoying every day and living for now. <laughs> Hi, Eva, how are you doing? I'm good, Sanjay. Oh, so when good. was the last time we met? Uh, three months ago. And any changes uh, in your Parkinson's symptoms since then? Eva is making the most of an early diagnosis. But according to her neurologist, Dr Sanjay Raghav, many patients don't get this opportunity. All over the world, Parkinson's disease diagnosis is an issue because there is no blood test or an imaging criteria specifically for Parkinson's disease by which we can make a very quick diagnosis and a, and a confirmatory diagnosis. So it depends on the clinical diagnosis of the neurologist. And, and sometimes it can be difficult because there are disorders which looks like Parkinson's disease, but they are not Parkinson's disease. One of several clues that doctors look out for in order to diagnose Parkinson's is a symptom called micrographia, in which the patient's handwriting becomes smaller and more cramped, often well before the appearance of any other motor symptoms. Unfortunately, given that everyone's handwriting is unique, spotting this symptom in its early stages is no easy task. But thanks to the wonders of technology, that's about to change. One of the good things in our uh, world now is that we've got computers, and uh, computers with tablets can measure speed, acceleration, pressure, and the size of handwriting. Because you've got to write your name. Using artificial intelligence, biomedical engineers at RMIT, led by Professor Dinesh Kumar, have developed a revolutionary screening tool. Now you can use your left hand. We want to see the other side. Within just a couple of minutes, this program analyzes users' handwriting against a database of samples provided by Parkinson's patients. One of the tests which have been used is the spiral. Then you got the repetitive text like BD, BD, etc. We also have a person drawing lines vertical and horizontal. Then we have a person writing a sentence. And finally, we've got the person writing their own name. And using this, we are able to normalize things so we can differ and identify the natural differences between people. And hence, we can more accurately determine what are the changes in the handwriting of the person. So we can then determine whether there is bradykinesia, in other words, slowing down, whether there is a change in the rigidity, or whether there is uh, some tremor in the person's uh, writing. Uh... As if this wasn't groundbreaking enough, Professor Kumar's team have used the same principles to develop a second screening tool. Beep, 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 a mobile beep, beep. app that analyzes your voice to detect the common Parkinson's symptoms that impact the vocal cords. We are able to determine factors such as tremor, factors such as reduced intensity and hoarseness without needing any specialized hardware, which means you do not need specialized clinicians. You can detect the disease, you can monitor the disease, even for the most remote people on the earth. That, I think, is a big achievement which this technology or these technologies can give. And I look forward to being a part of that. Beep, 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 beep. With both tools showing an accuracy rate of over 90%, researchers are hoping they'll be approved for commercial use within just a few years. It's great if technology can help for people to be, to be diagnosed earlier. I mean, it's not good to be diagnosed when you're 50 or 60, but if you have Parkinson, it's probably good to be diagnosed when you're 50, 60, because you can do a lot of good things for yourself. People maybe on their iPhone one day or their Android phone can just do some simple test and a diagnosis can be made 
even without seeing patient face to face. So it's a very exciting time. We all have smartphones, we all have computers. Why not we use it to the best advantage for these purposes?